Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing a review on a horror movie that I saw recently called In a Violent Nature. In this review, I'm going to be talking about the plot of the movie and what I liked and didn't like about the movie. Now, I'd just like to keep in mind this is all just my opinion. If you have a differing opinion, please let me know in the comments down below. You know, let me know what you thought about the movie. So, to start off, the 2024 film. In a Violent Nature is a Canadian experimental slasher directed by Chris Nash. The film is heavily influenced by Friday the 13th, and what makes this slasher unique is the fact that a large part of the film is shown from the killer's perspective, from a third person perspective. The film is about Johnny, a mute killer who is resurrected from the dead when a personal item is stolen from his grave by a group of teenagers. Johnny then proceeds to hunt down the unwitting teenagers one by one until retrieving what was stolen from him. So some things I liked about the film. The film was shot really well and it had a lot of natural shots of the natural environment, the surrounding environment, uh, the forest, the trees, etc. I liked the concept of seeing from the killer's perspective. The film had decent acting and a creepy suspenseful atmosphere and the kills had good special effects. The film didn't have a musical score, instead it had natural ambient sounds. Sounds you hear if you were in a forest, such as birds chirping, the snapping of twigs, and the rustle of leaves. I like how the exposition was delivered, exposition about the legend of Johnny, the massacre that happened years ago, etc. It was delivered by Johnny overhearing the conversation the teenagers were having while they were either talking to each other or sitting around a campfire. The exposition was delivered in a way that made it feel real, not forced. So some stuff that I didn't like about the movie. 1. The Walking A large portion of the film is just watching Johnny walking, which after a while gets boring. Because of this, some viewers have labeled the film a walking simulator, a walking ASMR. Personally, I feel a large portion of the scenes where Johnny is walking through the woods could be cut out or at least shorten it. Otherwise, they make the film feel slow and boring since most of the time you're just looking at Johnny's back as he walks through the woods. The marketing. The film's marketing was overhyped. The advertising made the film seem as if it was going to be a revolutionary horror slasher with extremely gory kills and used terms such as ultra violence and statements such as an audience member vomited during the screening. This however, in my opinion, was far from what was delivered. I felt the violence was moderate, lacked gore and in some cases the kills were boring. The kills were not at the level of that of Friday the 13th or other modern slashers such as Terrifier 2 which was, in my opinion, an ultra-violent slasher. The kills There were only two gory kills in the film that were worth watching, one of them being the yoga kill. All the other kills were either boring, lacking gore, or acting. Personally, I feel the kills would have benefited by having more drama and acting. Maybe adding suspenseful music would have helped it too. One kill in particular that annoyed me was the first kill in the film. For some reason they didn't show it, as the camera cuts away right before the kill happens, which makes no sense considering kills are a big part of slasher films. So in conclusion, I feel In a Violent Nature was a decent slasher that's heavily inspired by Friday the 13th and I feel it brought a unique concept into the horror genre allowing the audience to see from the killer's perspective. However, I don't feel it lived up to the hype of its advertising and despite being inspired by Friday the 13th, it's definitely not at the level of Friday the 13th. Because of this, it's hard for me to recommend watching this movie. So that's all I have to say. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, do you agree, do you disagree? Let me know what you liked about the movie, let me know what you didn't like. I look forward to reading your comments. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching.